Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload designs and publish products to the popular print-on-demand platform, Teespring, now known as Spring. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. Teespring has been a staple company in the print-on-demand market and is one of the best places to build an e-commerce shop to sell t-shirts, coffee mugs, hoodies, and dozens of other quality print-on-demand products. Recently, Teespring has gone through a massive rebranding, not only changing its site URL and brand name to Spring, but also revamping the layout and function of their website. In this Teespring or Spring tutorial, I'll be going through the entire process of uploading designs and publishing products to your Spring store. This will include how to quickly create designs using pre-made templates, upload designs to t-shirts, hoodies, and other products, how to add your title, description, and other product listing information, and other strategies such as adding your new upload to your featured product section of your store. But before you can optimize your spring store and product listings, you'll first need to create an awesome design that your audience will love. In order to build and grow your print-on-demand e-commerce business, you'll need a way to consistently create and publish high-quality designs to add to the products in your spring store. One of my favorite tools to quickly create professional designs for my products is the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker. This is probably the best tool for beginners to easily create t-shirt designs, even if you have zero design skills. Once you join Placeit, you can access thousands of pre-made t-shirt design templates that you can customize to easily create awesome t-shirt designs in seconds. To access the Placeit templates and the t-shirt design maker, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Now that you have a way to create some awesome designs for your products, let's go over the upload process for Spring. To get to the new Spring website, go to spri.ng. From here, go ahead and log in with your Teespring credentials. Once you log in, you should be taken to your account dashboard. On the menu on the left hand side, go ahead and click the Create tab. This will take you to the page where you can select the first product you want to upload your design to. As you can see, they have tons of apparel, accessories, and even digital products that you can create and sell. So for this example, let's just select the Tri-Blend T here. We'll be able to add as many other products as we like later, but let's start with this one. Once you select a product, you'll then be taken to the product editor. Here's where you can upload your artwork and create the products you want to add to your store. So first, let's add my t-shirt design. If you look under the design your product section, you'll see the add image button. Go ahead and click that now. You can then find and open up the design you want to add to your product. Make sure you're using high quality designs, preferably with transparency. I also like to make sure that the size of my design is at least 3000 pixels so it doesn't look pixelated on my products. If you use Placeit to create your design, you should be fine. So my new design has been added to my product, but it's kind of hard to see because my product is white and elements of my design are also white. So let's move on to the next section here, which is to choose your product colors. To select the available colors for the product, let's click the plus sign icon here. You can then select all the colors that your design actually looks good on. For my design, that definitely wouldn't be white, so I'll be removing that one. Once you finish selecting all the colors you want to offer, go down to the bottom and click on done. Now that we've selected our available colors, let's select the featured color that buyers will see when they first visit your product listing. To do this, let's click the edit button in the select first image buyers see section. From here, you can select your featured product view, which is the front and the back for t-shirts, and select your featured background color, which will be the first color displayed in your store. When selecting your featured color, make sure you select the color that your design looks the best on. When you're finished, go ahead and click done at the bottom. If you need to resize or rearrange your design on your product, simply click it to drag it or use the corner here to resize the image. The next thing we're gonna do is edit the pricing for your product. If you scroll down to the set your price section, you can edit the price for the products in US dollars and in euros. When you edit your retail price on the left hand side here, you'll also see your estimated profit update as well. So go ahead and set your product price in US dollars and in euros. The price you set could vary widely depending on your niche. 
To get a general idea of a good price range, I recommend checking out some competitor products in the same niche. Once you're finished, go ahead and click continue. So we just added our design to the Tri-Blend T, and here's where we can add our design to even more products. Spring has tons of different products that you can upload your design to. If we look at the men's apparel here, we can see that there are actually over 20 different styles available. So to add more men's clothing, let's hover over the image and click on the Select Styles button. This will open up a menu that shows you all the different men's apparel that are available on Spring. If I wanted to add the classic pullover hoodie for example, I'd simply go up to the top left of the image and click the checkbox here. You should then see your new product added to your list on the left hand side here. If you wanted to select all the styles in the men's apparel, you could select the checkbox here. But feel free to browse through the various products and select any that you like. Once you're finished, go down to the bottom and click on done. Now that I've selected the products to add from the men's apparel, let's move on to the women's apparel. Go ahead and browse through all the women's products and select any that you want to add to your store. Take your time and go through all the different product types that are available. They have a lot of cool products that you can add to your store that your customers will probably like. Once you've selected your products, you should see them all listed in the panel on the left hand side here. But before we continue, make sure you click the edit button beside each product that you selected and check your design to make sure it's in the right location and the correct size. Your design is automatically added to all the products, but it may need some arranging. You also want to make sure that you select your featured colors and set your prices. Once you're finished editing all the products on your list, go ahead and click continue at the bottom. This should take you to the final step, which is to create your new listing. Here's where you add important product details such as your title and description. When filling out your title and description, it's highly important that you use relevant keywords. The keywords and keyword phrases is how people will find your product listing when searching online. The keywords you use will determine how your product ranks in search results, which will determine your organic traffic and sales. There are tons of different ways that you can research keywords to use for your listing, but one of the tools I like to use specifically for researching keywords for print-on-demand products is Merchinformer. Merchinformer is a powerful online research tool that you can use to find the best niches, products, and keywords to use for your print-on-demand business. They use real-world data directly from Amazon, so you'll always be on top of what's currently hot in the market. Once you sign up, you'll be able to perform in-depth niche and product research, check out the latest trends, spy on your competition, and of course, check out the current top-ranking keywords for any niche. To access Merch Informer, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Now that you have some good keywords and keyword phrases, we can start filling out your product listing details. First, let's add my title. When filling out your title, make sure you include one or two of your top keywords. These should be the most relevant and most searched keywords based on your research. Since my design already has descriptive text, I'm gonna add that to the title and another top keyword for good measure. When creating your title and description for that matter, make sure you don't include any product types such as t-shirts or coffee mugs. The same title and description will be used when your customers view any of your products, so you wouldn't want your hoodie being described as a phone case for example. Also, when writing your description, make sure you're writing for humans and not for algorithms. You want to use as many of the top keywords and keyword phrases that you found while researching, but you want to make sure to use them in complete sentences that people can understand. Once you're finished with your title and description, you can then scroll down and go to the Select First Image Buyer C section where you can select your featured product color. If you click the Edit button, you can select your product view and your background colors just like before. The next thing we want to edit is our listing URL. Your URL is another great place to add relevant keywords. A default URL should have already been generated from your title, but sometimes it may cut off a few letters from the last word. So make sure the keywords are spelled correctly, and if your URL is available, you'll see a confirmation message at the bottom here saying URL looks good. In the next section here, you can select your product visibility. If you're planning to sell to the masses, you're going to want this set to public. But when needed in special cases, you can also set it to private or unlisted. Once you set your visibility, you can then move down to add your product listing to your existing store. If you haven't set up your spring store yet, 
make sure you check out the tutorial on my profile page to go through the process. Now that we've created our products and added our listing details, let's go down to the bottom and click on Publish Listing. Your new products will then be generated, processed, and uploaded to Spring. And voila! My new back-to-business entrepreneur design has been added to my Teespring store. I could now copy my listing URL and share it to social media or anywhere else to start generating traffic. Now that I've added my new design to my store, let's go over how to add it to my featured products. Your featured products will be the first products that customers see when they visit your store. So let's go up to the three dot icon at the top right here and click on edit store. This will take you to the store editor where you can design and edit your spring storefront. After the new update, most people only have one store, but if you do happen to have multiple stores, you can use the drop down menu here to select the one you want to add your product to. Now that I've selected my store, let's add my new design to the featured product section. To do this, let's click the button over here to enter the store editor. Here's where you can adjust your store theme and settings. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you should see a product section. Let's click the edit button here to open it up. This should open up a new window that displays all the products that you've currently uploaded to Spring. If you look beside each product, you'll see a star icon that you can select to add it to your featured products. As you can see, I currently have multiple products already set as featured products, so let's remove some to make room for my new ones. To select my new featured products, let's scroll down the list here and find the new products that I just added to my store. I can now select the star icon for all the products I want to set as featured. For my store, I think I'll just do these two here. Once you're finished, go up to the top and click on done. Now if we check out the featured products section in my store preview on the right hand side here, we should see the products that I just added. At the top of my store here, you can see I now have my back to business smartphone case and my tri-blend t-shirt. Now whenever a customer visits my spring storefront, my new design will be one of the first products that they see. So that's a quick overview of how to upload designs and publish products to Spring. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.